All right, thank you all for coming. I wanna thank you all for joining us today to celebrate both Rachel and William. I've been told that there are guests here from all walks of life for both our bride and, bride and groom. Whether you're family, friends, coworkers, and so on, it's truly beautiful to have you here in one place to witness the union of this beautiful couple. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Amanda, although today I will only be answering for the name Reverend Azar. I went to high school with both Rachel and William. When they sat me down in their kitchen a year ago and uh, made me a smoothie, they asked if I would be the officiant for their wedding. I said of course, although I wasn't sure if they were being serious. Soon after, Rachel asked me in a text and confirmed my middle name and my birthday. And then two minutes later, I had an email stating I was an ordained minister in the state of New Jersey. So here we are. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I just wanted to take a brief moment to say how truly, truly honored I am that both Rachel and William asked me to be here today, to be such an important part of their special day. Who would have thought joking around in English class 11 years ago would, have le would lead to one of my most valued and cherished friendships. To stand here and watch one of my best friends marry the man of her dreams is basically one of my dreams come true as well. And I'm so happy for you. <laughs> a true marriage begins well before wedding day, and the efforts of marriage will continue well beyond this ceremony. It takes a lifetime of love, commitment, and compromise to make a marriage durable and everlasting. Today, I believe wholeheartedly that the couple that stands before you is prepared to make a promise that fulfills the demands of marriage, withstands the challenges of human life, and exemplifies the meaning of love in all forms. At this time, the bride and groom have chosen a poem that they believe represents joy and the promise they are making to each other today that will be read now by William's sister, Lisa. It is difficult to know what to do with so much happiness. With sadness, there is something to rub against, a wound to tend with lotion and cloth. When the world falls in around you, you have pieces to pick up, something to hold in your hand, like ticket stubs or change. But happiness floats. It doesn't need you to hold it down. It doesn't need anything. Happiness lands on the roof of the next house singing and disappears when it wants to. You are happy either way. Even the fact that you once lived in a peaceful treehouse and now live over a quarry of noise and dust cannot make you unhappy. Everything has a life of its own. It too could wake up filled with possibilities of coffee cake and rice peaches and love even the floor which needs to be swept, the soiled linens and scratched records. Since there is no place large enough to contain so much happiness, you shrug, you raise your hand and it flows out of you into everything you touch. You are not responsible. You take no credit, as the night sky takes no credit for the moon, but continues to hold it and share it, and in that way, be known. Rachel and William, you're promising in front of all of those who mean the most to you that you want to be with each other and only each other for the rest of your lives, that you will support each other through all things and do everything in your power to honor the promises you are making here today. Now, the couple has prepared vows in their own words.
<laughs> Billy, the past five years with you have been the best of my life. You are my rock and my happy place. I'm thankful for every sharp turn and obstacle that I've experienced because it brought me to this moment right here. I promise that I will try for my whole life to give you what you've given me. I promise I will love you through every victory and every hardship. I promise I will never leave you feeling abandoned or singled out. I promise that every choice that I make will be made with you in mind and every step forward will be taken with your hand in mind. I'm excited for the future, all in the future, the good and the bad. Lastly, I promise to be the wife and best friend that you deserve. There may be times that I fall short, but I know so well that we will continue to build each other up when we need it and carry each other through this life with happiness as our main goal. I love you so much. Rachel, you are everything that I ever dreamed of and everything that I will ever need. I promise to cherish and respect you. I promise to care for you and to protect you. I promise to comfort you and encourage you. I am always with you. From the darkness of light until morning, I am with you always. From life until death takes me. I love you. Kill switch engage lyrics. Oh. <laughs> William, do you take Rachel to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I do. Rachel, do you take William to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part. I do. Evan, can I have the rings, please? Oh, good, he has a bush to have fun. <laughs> okay, William, you can repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. With all that I have, I'm honored to call you my wife. With all that I have, I'm honored to call you my wife. From this moment until forever. From this moment until forever. Thank you. You're welcome. Rachel, you may repeat after me. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. With all that I have, I'm honored to call you my husband. With all that I have, I'm honored to call you my husband. From this moment until forever. From this moment until forever. To those that the universe has joined together, may no force separate. By the power vested in me, by both the state of New Jersey and the internet, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Billy, you may kiss the bride. Woo!